Hi, it's Kathleen Yetter, and I would like to share with you today about homiletics. Let me share my screen here, and we will do an overview of homiletics. Homiletics allows us to engage in God's word. And by doing homiletics, we learn to love and know God more, and our desire to follow him increases. And I think homiletics is a way to dive into God's word more efficiently. The homiletics that we do with BSF has five parts. And I love this flow of homiletics here. The first three parts are just the facts and we are thinking and shrinking down to 10 words. Then the aim and the application questions get into what do we think God is trying to say with these words. So step one, the content list is going to be 10 to 20 items and it is just the facts. And so I did Hebrews 11 and a little bit of 12 and I had 43 verses here to work with. So I took 43 and divided it by 15 because I want between 10 and 20 items. So 43 divided by 15 equals about three verses for each content list item. So if you look back at the content list I created, I have three verses, three verses. I thought this one verse was really great. Three verses. And then down here, I do verses 32 to 38, a few more uh, verses, but that's okay, because I can do a few more or a few less. And But in the end, 15 content list items, which is great. Second, division sentences. Now these are going to be complete sentences, but still just the facts. And we're going to do two, three, or four summary sentences of the content. I'm not going to go back and look at my passage at this point. I'm going to look at my content list and try to create three divisions. I might go look in my Bible and look at headings and see where my Bible divided the content, or I just might look at where I think um, the, how I can group things. So in this case, I grouped them thusly into three divisions. And so I then created three division items. Step three, subject sentence. This is the passage summary, which is going to be one sentence of 10 words or less, and it is still just the facts. So I'm getting down to the most shrunken part, 10 words. And when I go back through my homiletics, the subject sentence is going to be what I look at to say, you know, what happened in Hebrews 11? Oh, that's right. And um, so I took my division sentences, I look at what I said there, and I come up with a subject sentence, which is, in fact, 10 words or less, and I think describes what Hebrews 11 says. Next, step four is our aim. This is when we get to go get away from the facts and try to figure out the main truth or principle from the passage that we've read. And we want this, we, it causes the audience to learn something. What does it cause the audience to learn? So in this case, I said, it causes the audience to learn, cause the audience to learn like many before us, faith reaps rewards you may or may not see. Application questions are going to be in question form. And we will have one application question for each division that we came up with. And we're targeting the heart first. We want to target our heart. We don't just want behavior modification, we want a change of heart. So I look at my three divisions and I know I want three questions from these divisions. So I came up with, um, and often I use this phrase, what prompts you dot, dot, dot. Or does it build your faith to know dot, dot, dot? Or do you feel assurance dot, dot, dot? Um, helps you to get to the heart of what is this passage saying? When I get done, I have this beautiful rainbow uh, 
the, I, I like the rainbow and I made it backwards because I like red for the heart questions and it's red, orange, skipped yellow, green, blue, purple. And um, it reminds us that God keeps his promises. But um, I really want to strongly suggest that you only spend one hour doing your homiletics. You just want to kind of get it down and do it. We don't want to spend a ton of time futzing around with it. But when we're finished with our homiletics, we are ready to start our lesson. We know um, content. Often I will take content list items and pop those into my answers in my lesson. And, um, and even with these application questions, you could even sit down with friends, family members, kids, and facilitate discussion about the passage you read by asking these questions. So that's what's awesome about homiletics. And um, again, just showing you this cute little flowchart rainbow. And um, so that's an overview of homiletics. And I hope that it encourages you to um, be excited about it. And um, in the next couple of videos, we'll get deeper into each of the content or the content, the, each of the five parts of homiletics. Have a great day.